order to make the animated doodle text, there are two apps that I would recommend. There's Pixar, which is free, but it doesn't have as many brush options. And the second option is Procreate Pocket or Procreate. It's $5 for the pocket version. It has a lot of options and this is the one I use, but you can definitely make this effect on both of these apps. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is using the app PixArt. So in the bottom menu, you can load just a plain background image and then in the bottom menu, go to the draw tool. I'm going to change the color to white since I want the text to be white and then once you click on the paintbrush it gives you options for different brushes. Now if you want more of like a like handwriting kind of like a brush stroke there are those options and that's the one I'm going to use so I played around with the size of it and then what you're going to want to do is just write your text and make sure it's on a new layer but it automatically does that. But yeah so once you have that I'm just going to go ahead and write out the text I want so I'm literally just going to write hello on the screen right here. Once I have it how I like it, I'm going to go to the layer tool, I'm going to click on the background which is this blue color and I'm going to go to the options and choose Zor XOR. That's going to make it into a PNG and then what I'm going to do is click apply. After I click apply, I'm going to click next and I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Next I'm going to go back to the option, the draw tool, and I'm going to add a new layer by going to the layers tool on the side and clicking on this uh, icon right here and this will add the new layer. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have the same brush option selected so I'm going to make sure I have the white text and the brush tool and I'm just going to go ahead and just write over the hello that I already written and I'm going to make it slightly different and this is how we get that animated text option. Now once I've done that I'm going to go ahead and delete the old layer with the old text on it so that would be this layer like right here by clicking on the garbage can. Then I'm going to go ahead and click apply and save this to my camera roll again. This next app is Procreate and what I'm going to do is add a plain background as my just background. It doesn't really matter what it is. And then I'm going to go to the layer tool and add two new layers and this is where we're going to add our text. So I'm going to click on layer two and I want to add kind of like a background to this so I'll show you how to do that again. But I'm going to change the color to a lighter blue. I'm going to go to brushes and I'm going to change it to oriental brush and once I click done I'm just going to draw a line across and this is going to be like the background to the text that I'm making. Then what I'm going to do is go to the uh, calligraphy option and I'm going to click on the shale brush and I'm going to change the text color to white and I'm just going to write hello over top of this line that I made and as you guys can see this is like a cool little background option that you can have but obviously you don't have to do it. Then on that layer 3 I'm going to go ahead and repeat the exact same thing and like before I'm not going to outline it exactly perfectly because if you do that then it's not going to give it the animated effect. And I would recommend when you do this, you should do it about two or three times, like get two or three different layers so that you have a really good animated effect and it doesn't look too repetitive. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn those two bottom layers off. I'm going to hold down on layer three and with my other hand, go back and create a new one. So I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to click on just the 4K option with my other hand. And then I'm just going to drop this layer on top of it. And I'm just going to resize it and make it look how I want. And this is just so we can save the image, by the way. But yeah, I'm going to resize it. Then I'm going to go to the layer tool and turn the background off. And I'm going to do the same on the other one. And as you guys can see, it's a PNG. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to click the select tool. And I'm going to select those two images that I want. Click more. And I'm going to click share. And I'm going to save them as PNGs. And this is how we're going to get, the, uh, get that effect in iMovie. Now that we're in iMovie, you're going to want to add the clips or the video that you have and then you're going to go to the plus button and you're going to go back and add each individual picture as a green or blue screen. If you add it as a picture in picture, it's going to have a fade effect and it's not going to work. So again, I'm just doing this with the two different images. Now what you're going to want to do is click on them and make them as short as you possibly can and this is so that you get the effect and it doesn't look weird. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to drag it a little bit closer and what you're going to want to do here is we're going to be duplicating it. So it's going to be a little hard for me to explain, but you're going to click duplicate two times so that you have three of each clip. Obviously you can do this more, 
But now what you need to do is you need to make it so that the one picture one plays and picture two, picture one, picture two, picture one, picture two. So I'm just organizing it here the best way that it makes sense to me. So I'm putting the first picture, number two. This is first picture, then the second one. And so basically when it plays, you get the option of it changing pictures each time. It's really hard to explain, but I think if you guys see it and you understand like what the animated text is, it'll make sense. But uh, yeah, when you're done, this is what it looks like. And it's a really cool way to spice up your videos, especially if you edit in iMovie. So thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I'm